Don't don't touch it. And we're live. All right. Last call. Last call. Last call. Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us again. Today is what? May 14th. May 14th. May 14th. It's a Thursday night, and um, we are we have a good show for you today. Uh, we call it the show. I don't yeah, even know. We're, we're a good a good, a good hour, a yeah. half hour or so of drinking and talking to you guys. Yes. What do we call that? Um, first thing that I want to bring up is our draft beer because we have just amped up our draft beer game. We did. Yeah, we did. Uh, big time. What a ton of growlers. Yesterday we did um, a flight. We had showed off a, a new sour, a couple of my beers, and a, a yep. lager that we just got on. Today I want to have you guys try uh, a new beer. It's uh, not new to uh, us. We've had this here before, but uh, something we haven't had on in a long time. Since we shut down. Yep. From a brewery called Equilibrium. It is called MC Squared. Equilibrium is out of New York. Great, great brewery. They are awesome. I mean, these are one of the very, very uh, upper echelon brewers, yep. in my opinion. No question. MC Squared, what do you think that means? What's that for? You know, I don't know if it's a, you know, an Einstein thing. I mean, a lot of their their uh, names are all like scientific. Very Equilibrium. I found that it's so, so, yeah, well, so mm -hmm. many breweries are started by guys people, I should say, that were, um, you know, somebody who had a, a relatively successful career in some other business, and so many no, that we've met have been like ex-computer, MIT, guy, MIT guy. Type, I can think of four right off the top of my head in Massachusetts Tons that that were guys that were yeah. able to cash out of that business. and They took their 401k plans and started it. Yeah. Got so I'm not surprised when I hear like... Yep. Start with them. Um, Start by uh, Oak and Oak and Iron. Um, Oak and Iron. Our friends out of um, uh, Shovel Town. Greater Good. Greater Good. Um, well, yes. But yeah, he was a I mean, yeah, 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 he was. Yeah, yeah. He was a so my brother is saying it's hard to hear hear you on the show. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, who are, who are right. you guys having a hard time hearing? We turned Sargon off. Uh oh. Check one two. <laughs> Can't hear who. So we're trying out some new microphones here today, guys, for this. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Gotta plug them in. How about now? Much better? What do you think? Yeah, that, fi that should fix it. Does that fix it? Can you hear us now, L loud and clear? Loud and clear. Let me know if, uh, if here, you can hear us. I'm gonna do clear. this. I got it even better. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> we are live! <laughs> All right. Do we sound better? Better. 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 We better. got a better. Oh no! Uh, Sean had dropped the. Uh, yeah, I dropped the phone. The phone. Paul is saying low volume. Is that better, Paul? Paul, how about now? Wait, let him catch up. Yeah, let's let him catch up. I'm gonna drink some beer while you're doing that. Actually, I'll drink this beer. <laughs> check, check, better. check. They say better. Little better. Better. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> so the beer I have. Uh, Turns out you got to plug the microphones in. Yeah, yeah that yeah, helps. It always in. works. Uh, <laughs> way yeah, better, yeah. LOL. And uh, Christine said Paul's hard of hearing, so he wouldn't <laughs> hurt hear us anyway. <laughs> hey, equilibrium, Christine. MC squared. Equilibrium is out of New York. This is a double IPA. We have this in Growlers. Let, let's Brooklyn? You said in. Brooklyn, New York? No, not Brooklyn. So. Uh, Forget where. Who else we get from Brooklyn? Aslan. Finback. Finback. Grim. 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 Yeah. Love Grim. What's yeah. it? What kind of beer is it? Double IPA. Double IPA. So a little sweet. Eight. Eight and a half percent. Oh yeah. Creamy. Chewy. Yeah. Oh. Citrusy. So this is like a you know you can or, or right away um, citrusy. That's what I get right off the. Orange bat. juice. I get like. Orange juice exactly. Like slightly like. Orange juice that's like a, a little old. Yeah, very little bitter. Yep. Very little. Can you explain to me why, what, what's the difference between an IPA and a double IPA? Right. So the difference between an IPA, double IPA, triple IPA, all the different IPAs, they're all India Pale Ales. And all it really means is how much stuff do you put in the ferment and how much yeast do you put in. If you put less matter in and less yeast, you get a 4% beer, 5%, 6%. You put more in and more yeast, you get an 8%, 9%.
So you're talking about a higher higher ABV, higher ABV, uh, more which means more body. sugars yeah. and more yeast yeah. fermenting longer. So they yeah. put in more. You know who does a great job at it? Dogfish Head. Oh, so you got no. 60 minute IPA, 90 minute IPA, 120 minute IPA. Show Same idea. You can't hear us. Can't hear us again. I guess so. We sound checked earlier. Everything sounded fine. Oh, uh, bummer. I know that kind of stinks, but can't hear. Technical problems. All right. That's Let's a see. bummer. Buzzing noise in the back. So we sound great here. That's what on I the was board. Okay. Hmm. Click, click, click. Well, either way. Well, we should have tested it. Yeah, well, yeah. we did. I mean, kind of. Kind of. Um, but full-bodied, more ABV. It's a heavier beer. Right, right. Um, the lower ABV beers, when you sip them, uh, they're much lighter on your gut, yeah, much yeah. lighter. Um, you just feel like you can drink more of them. Uh, this guy right here, I don't know if I can handle more than two. All right, good. So we're getting some people saying we're very we clear. We're fine. Okay. We're great. All right, thank great. you, guys. Um, so, food. Yeah, so the, along with this beer, we also got a Brooklyn uh, brewing a company uh, keg. It's called Petal Prophecy. That is like a honey IPA, nice and sweet. Uh, oh, Brooklyn, like Brooklyn Lager? No, I'm sorry, Burlington. Oh, Burlington. Burlington. Did gotcha. I say Brooklyn? My bad. Burlington Beer Burlington Company. Too. And uh, they, we already sold a growler of that today. And yep. the guy who called into the restaurant said, remind me of the name, and that was awesome. I need to get that again. So awesome. If you're looking for good IPAs, uh, hit up our restaurant, uh, go online. We have the growlers we can sell. Yeah, yeah we, untapped. We got, a, we got a full full load of uh, awesome beers now. Yep. And we're changing up a lot of stuff, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's a lot of new things that are going to be happening here. The last two or three we had sold in one day. Yeah. yeah. New we, beers and new food, too. So we're trying yeah. to get yep. creative with our menu, right? Trying to bring on some new items, uh, like this one, for, for instance. So this guy right <laughs> here in front of us, um, this is called Linguini Rustica. And we have linguine, and we have mushrooms, and we have tomato, and we have shrimp, and a white wine garlic sauce, lemon sauce. Yeah. It is so good. And we wanted to sample it here for you guys. Do you mind uh, bringing it to the camera? They yeah, so it's like a, a scampi. Kind of like a scampi. Yep. But with some tomato mushroom. Right. So to add a little earthiness to it. Yeah, it's great. It so, looks awesome. Yeah, Anthony, yeah. B BBC makes awesome beer. I mean, it's very consistent beer. Um, I love oh, yeah. that Burlington beer. We love them. So you want to? We got yeah, to try some silverware right oh, here. Here we go. Silverware. Do we want to just go dig right in? I'll yeah. get the side. You get that side. Yep. All right. Perfect. I'm gonna drink more beer while you guys do that. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> it looks and great. And so we also have um, other items, new items here on the menu. Um, today we added a broccoli and cauliflower soup, yep. which is phenomenal. oh my god! I had it for lunch. So good. So broccoli, good. cauliflower, cheddar. It's um, it's everything. When when I think of what that soup should be, that like it na they nailed it perfectly. Oh, this is great. Back there, and this is JJ made this for us tonight back in the kitchen. Yeah, it's yeah, great. JJ is ho holding it down back there. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Awesome. Yeah, this thing is um. Yep. A, this time of year, of shrimp time. just has a whole nice and light. Mm. That sauce is now overbearing. It's Love not heavy at all. You don't feel bad. You don't feel guilty eating this. Nope. This thing is a, a 10 out of 10, in my opinion. Yep. It's great. So we added the new cheddar soup. We also have um, the new chili. chili. We have a beef and black bean chili. Yep. Oh, my God. And that thing is awesome, too. Which you can get in a cup or also an entree size, which is yep. going to be coming with um, cornbread. cornbread cornbread, and over linguine, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. We're yep. going to do, we're calling it Grafton pasta. Yep. Yeah. Or Grafton, Grafton chili. chili. So it's uh, kind of a, um, a take on the Cincinnati Chili. Yep. So in Cincinnati, they put chili over their pasta. pasta. Yep. And so we 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 basically we're gonna do the same thing, the same mm -hmm. sort of thing. I love it. Um, but you can get a bowl of that, and that's all uh, prime rib. It, it is. It rib is prime, prime rib. actually. It's, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, Tim Devlin says, uh, "For the love of God, stop with the mass." Um, he wants lemon meringue, but this uh, looks like a ransom video. <laughs> Hey man, as long as COVID's around, we got to be safe, you know, or uh, at least I'm going to rob until, banks at least all like, well. until we get tested. Exactly, yeah, and then then we we'll be all right. Um, so this sure. item is on the menu. You can order this online if you want something that's has shrimp, light sauce, 
Uh, great pasta dish. This is the dish for you. It's, it's phenomenal. Linguini rustica. And then we also have the broccoli and, the ch- and, and broccoli cauliflower soup. Yep. Mm-hmm. The black bean uh, chili. Open beef chili. And black, black bean chilies uh, as well. So yeah. Awesome. That's a lot of words. That's a yeah. lot of words. I wonder if we should call it like shrimp linguine rustica. Or something. Maybe, yeah. Because if you don't know, you wouldn't. I yeah. didn't know. When I saw him making shrimp. it, I was like, oh, where the did shrimp? that item come from? Yeah. <laughs> but that's just because I've don't pay attention enough these days but um but i was thinking sean had a fun idea yep about uh <laughs> for making our cocktail today we're trying to figure out what drink to make tonight bar roulette and sean came up with this idea for bar roulette and he went around the bar and he numbered every bottle of liquor bottle. that we have in house yep 141, 141 bottles bottles of liquor yep and what Not, we th- no no wine no beer no wine or beer just the liquor 141 bottles. I label them all. So he thought we would do a thing where we could maybe ask somebody pick to a pick a number. Yep. One through 141. Yep. And then we'll go and we have to figure out a cocktail to make with whatever from it is. whatever and bottle. Whatever. And it if is. we can't think of it, we'll just have to do a shot. We just of it. do shots. Oh god, I don't like that part. Of it. <laughs> but I like the first part. Let's get creative. That's why we yeah. have you bartending today. Yeah. Because you, you've done this before. If I was back there, Lord knows we'd be doing shots of I mean, almost we everything. Have we have schnapps, we have brandies, we have flavored vodkas. We have all mm-hmm. kinds of odd stuff back there. So anybody in the comment section, write down, type in a number, 1 through 141. Yep. The first, first number one, that we see, we'll pull it. we're going to use that. We'll pull that yep. bottle. So, and Josh right. will make a co- cocktail, I hope. Yes, we'll, we'll see. I don't want to do apple schnapps sh- uh, like sh- shots. Yeah, or I don't want to do a shot of brandy or yeah. Jaeger yeah. again. So That's got to be good. <laughs> he's, he's still eating. It's good. Oh, I'm hungry. I haven't so eaten all this. Phenomenal. I guess, like, I know if I'm slurping up pasta and trying to talk, like, it's going to be a mess. So, yeah, no. all right, anybody, anybody in the comment section, just write down a number. One through 141. <laughs> I forget that we're ahead. Yeah. yeah but don't don't leave us hanging bit. here. Or I'll have to pick the number. We might have to randomly, like, do, like, a random phone a random oh, number. Oh, here we go. Okay. Thank you, Kat, for bailing us out. 24. 24. Oh, so where do we start? It. You already know right. what it is? Yep, I know where they are. He doesn't know <laughs> what it is. He knows where it is. All right. So, so Sean, Sean numbered them all today, so he yep. kind of understands the, his numbering system. Because Lord knows I don't. Me neither. <laughs> he was trying he to explain it. He explained it to us seven times, and all three times all right. I thought I was... <laughs> so... Wait, one, drum one, roll. <laughs> and today's bar roulette. Winner, 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 winner. Right. What do we got? What do we got? So it's, al- it's almost not believable <laughs> ah, yes. because it happens to be it happens to be your drink <laughs> so thank you Catherine I literally, yeah, great number great selection couldn't, couldn't, you couldn't Kettle be more one. accurate Kettle of 141 one. bottles of liquor in this restaurant that's your number perfect <laughs> there we go and I numbered them in order all the way around Josh, so, I have a few ideas of what you can yeah, make. Yeah, I was going to say, this, this is easy. I've never heard of this stuff. If you want to no. make it with soda water, I, you can just top me off. Uh, so, so. <laughs> this one is called, say it again, ket, Ketol, Kettle that One. Kettle One Vodka. <laughs> oh, vodka. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the, why, what's the difference with Kettle One as opposed to, say, Tito's? Dude, How did Tito's. it start for me? To be honest with you, I would just, um, I loved being a contrarian and going into a bar and so I would see whatever everyone else is ordering, and I would just order Kettle One. So I want to say, I want Tito's, I want Absolute, and I would say, no, no, no. And they'd say, Grey Goose, no, no, I want Kettle One. It just became a thing. Gotcha. And um, now it's just in my head. It's all I drink. I know the taste. I know exactly you know the what taste, I'm going to get out of it, and I love it. Yeah. So but that's why I, I drink is, that now. What makes it special? Uh, it's it's, from it's Holland. five times distilled. Yeah. Five okay. times distilled from Holland, who, by the way, have been doing vodka for a very long time. A long time, time very okay. well. Um, okay. Absolutes from there as well. Or oh, Sweden, actually. But they're from that, that culture of, like, we know how to do vodka. Their cuts are good. Mm-hmm. So you don't get a headache from it. Mm-hmm. Right? So, like, all liquor, I don't care if it's whiskey, scotch, rum, vodka, gin, doesn't matter. When they distill the product and they pour it off, they have cuts. They take the distillate as it comes off. The early stuff will give you headaches and make you blind. And the cheaper liquors put that in their bottle. And you get a headache from it. You get... Um, so what will they do over. with that? Do, they, do most they places dump it. Get, dump it? Yeah. The good ones dump it. They 
they drop it, they dump it. So th th you take the middle cuts. The end ones are harmless, but they're watery. And the, f the first cuts but are, too, they're just ethanol. Too dirty or whatever. Yeah, no, it's like stuff you put in gasoline. Okay. It's the stuff that makes you blind. You know, it's nail polish remover. It's ethanol. It's, you don't want that. But there's a little bit in it. So the, ones, the companies that take that first cut, are the cheap ones interesting? And they so, so the this good is five is, times distilled, which makes it probably a perfect balance. I yeah, mean, in my opinion, it doesn't. I, I don't really get headaches from this. I, I enjoy it. Um, and I, you can have it with almost. I can have it straight up in a martini, or I could do it over soda water. Yeah. Or and you know I wouldn't really mix it with anything else. But what I respect about vodka is that's that's the goal of vodka mm -hmm. to be transparent. Yes. To sit in a drink, and all the other flavors come through, except the alcohol. And that's vodka's job. Right. So, what do you what do you have planned for us? Do you, maybe we? I mean, we have uh, a bunch of. There's so many options. I was right? gonna say we have a bunch of house cocktails that use vodka. I right. mean, honestly, almost all of them. Yeah. All right. Or come up with your own. Well, maybe we'll. Well, we'll I don't keep know. It. I'm thinking. Um, how about our blackberry mule? Uh, do we have the blackberry puree? Maybe. Uh, probably over here. If I've got some strawberry puree. It could be a strawberry meal. Do we have ginger beer? How about a strawberry we do. meal? We have goslings, yeah. Yeah, let's go. We have gosling ginger beer. Let's do it. Yeah, all right. A mule. Strawberry Love mule. It. All right, why not? I've never actually made this drink. So it says here. Oh, it's very. It, th this is probably one of my favorite drinks to not make. So I will yeah. go and I'll take a customer's order. order. And they'll say, oh, I'll get uh, two blackberry mules. And I'll famously go to one of my bartenders like, and say, hey, I need two Kenzie, blackberry mules over there. <laughs> so one and a half vodka. Kettle one, preferably. Pre kettle one. Well, kettle that's one. the drink. In this particular one. Half an ounce of lime juice. So I like vodkas that are less distilled. I prefer cladding vodkas. Really? I like, I like Belvedere, Grey Goose. There's like triple distilled, so there's a little cloud to them. Half like ounce simple. Sake. You get like this flavor in there, and I like that. That's like with all my liquors. I prefer something that's got some flavor on it. My Uncle Gabe said he'd like a Grey Goose and uh, tonic. Yeah. You know what? Tonic um, doesn't do it for me. I can't. There's something about tonic water. Half that cranberry? Kills well, I mean, my, the uh, quinine, right? So quinine is flavor. like this. It's medicinal. It's deep. Very. It, you feel it in your core. Like yep. you take a sip, you're like... Oh, what the fuck is that? Yeah, basically. exactly. Right? I mean... Is it, this even a mixed drink? I don't even know. You just, do I just add... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So then you... So I didn't even need to... I just put it in... Yeah. Just top of soda. Yeah. Oh, After I was doing So the, you're going to shake it and then... And sorry. Then. I make it like three different drinks here. <laughs> <laughs> a little back... Yeah, it'll be fine. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it'll be fine. That's what little, we got. It's like a cranberry strawberry thing. <laughs> so if you guys are watching, um, <laughs> what, what do you guys normally get... When you come to a reunion for your drink, what's your drink of choice here? Is it the beer? Do you go for a cocktail? Do you go for a wine? Uh, I, I like to think we're known for our beer, but you know, I'm yeah. looking at our sales. I see that we're kind of even across the board. Yep. You know, we so have our wine drinkers, we have our cocktail drinkers, and we have our beer drinkers. True. By the way, this drink doesn't get any uh, cranberry juice typically. But <laughs> no, tonight it's yeah, I was gonna say I didn't know what you were. I didn't either, apparently. <laughs> is it straight up? Why does it say strain it? Who wrote this dram drink? <laughs> yeah, you strain it because I don't know. It's got but fruit on, in it. Over on New Rocks? On, on New Rocks. New Rocks. Yeah. I'm not doing that. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're just doing that. Just coming out. Yeah, there you go. That's fine. That's perfect. And then I need some ginger beer. It uh, looks great. Gary, oh, we yeah. were just talking about that today. Gary said his favorite drink is a coffee Cape Codder. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I didn't prompt him to say that. Yet. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> we literally uh, heard the story as we were talking about bar yeah, roulette, we were. and uh, Josh had brought up uh, the coffee a time in his life where bar roulette was a thing when they were at the Cape, and he said the uh, twenty people who were on that trip, if you ask all twenty what the worst drink they made that the coffee weekend Cape was, Cotter. coffee Cape Cotter. Yeah. <laughs> so Gary, it looks like you were there. Here, give me uh, some sample glasses. I'm gonna yes. pour this for you guys. With a little cranberry touch to it. Yeah, it's, it's really pretty. It's a nice looking drink. My brother says, give him a night light and a cowboy burger and he's good to go. I agree. He had the cowboy burger this weekend. He got, it got rave reviews, so I knew we did something right. Yeah, there. it's a 
It's a great burger. My brother loves his burgers. All right, we're doing mule shots. So mule this shots. was, explain it again, with the, what we made for the Well, what people. it's supposed to be. It smells great. What it's supposed to be is vodka. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ginger beer. <laughs> uh, lime, <laughs> lime juice, lime simple juice. syrup, blackberry puree, but we use our strawberry puree yeah, Which today. is fine. Any fruit's fine. And then a little ginger beer. Yeah. But I also, just for the fun of it, I add a little bit of cranberry. <laughs> oh, yeah, by design. Yeah, but cranberry juice. That's fine. <laughs> That's a mule. Yours. It's a mule. Cheers, Up yours. Guys. Yeah. Oh, I it's mean, great. It's great. That's, that's really summer. interesting. I love the ginger beer. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's so, it's such a refreshing, nice thing. And that's Gosling's, by the way. You got to always get Gosling's. Yes, Gosling's. No question. Sean and I uh, Gosling's are, are happy. Gin. We're lucky enough to spend some time with the, the owner, with the, with the folks with Gosling's. Yep. Uh, we had a, uh, we had an <laughs> afternoon where we were at a PGA golf event. And we were asked to get on the jet and fly back and play golf the next morning. To the Bahamas. To the Bahamas. And or we're Bermuda. like, uh, we... Wait, yeah. Bermuda or... Where are they? Bermuda. Bermuda. No, Bahamas. Bahamas. These are the Bahamas. Unfortunately, yeah. we had lives and other things that we weren't able to... <laughs> we're literally... We were <laughs> at the... We were at... Um, the Deutsche PGA, Bank Classic. We were at Deutsche Bank Classic down in Norton. Yeah. And we're at the Gosling tent. And the owner, uh, Chris... I thought it was Jean. Jean. Jean something. Uh, was at the tent, and we're hanging out, and we're um, we're betting on caddies. We're betting on like you had light blue, I had dark blue. So we would Wait. you you bet on the caddy, not the golfer. So every time the golfers would come around the bend, he had the white bib, I had the blue bib. <laughs> you know, Everybody guy, throws so, in a dollar, yeah, and whoever the golf is gets whoever the golfer closest gets to the closest to the pin. You can take all three bucks. And <laughs> so we're but we're playing. With, we're we're sitting there with the owner of Gosling. Yep. And he's like, uh, yeah, I got a golf tournament. You guys should play in it. Like, sounds awesome. Yeah. You can play in the golf tournament. It? Yeah. He's like, yeah, no, it's tomorrow. Like, <laughs> in the Bahamas. In the Bahamas. <laughs> like, just, just come with me. Like, yeah. let's go. Like, we'll leave here. We'll get on the plane. We'll go. <laughs> what? But that's real. He said, come, yeah. let's go. Yeah. We they did. Have a yacht but we race. had a fun day that we day. We had, oh, my God. That, man. Oh, that, Tiger, was, Tiger was playing. Phil yeah. Nicholson was playing. We had never, I'd never been to anything like that. And there's, you know when you're watching the golf tournaments, there's those, like, big white, like, bleachers along the side. Yeah. yeah the, right there. The big plastic tents. And it was, like, great. Like, the, the hole before finished right here in front of us. And right. Then the so next you could one watch him play. was just a little three par. So you could watch them finish this one and then do the whole hole here. It was it's great. Just, it's so much fun. That's awesome. With our friend Dave Rotundo and Freddie was there. Fred and Gosling's yep. makes rum too? Yeah, yeah so they right? make dark rum. Yeah. Okay, that's well, they, make, they make a bunch of rum. Do they? Probably. Yeah. Right? But, but they're famous but they're dark in rum is our famous country, rum. I think. For, uh, they're giving Captain Morgan a run for their money. They're yeah, making a spice I'm, dark rum. I'm very happy. That bar roulette ended with kettle one vodka. Because oh my god! I literally kind of was worried that, about. Brandy there's 141 bottles so here, cold. and that is your bottle. <laughs> like those, yeah, and that's legit. That's I, I numbered them. I, all. I didn't want any of that. I feel like you set it up. Did you tell Kat to say that? No. Oh, I wouldn't have known. You didn't I even know. know. I, know. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, he has no idea. Tomorrow she's like 41. <laughs> what is this one? 24. Yeah, if you guys are watching this tomorrow, please just say 24 every time. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm. They're, once they're at, they're eliminated from the mix. Uh, okay. okay, so we can't uh, do 24 anymore. Yep. Do we have another bottle of so that. Let me ask you something. <laughs> yeah. would we you, do actually. Have, I, some of them are labeled would you, twice. Would you rather only drink Kettle One for the rest of your drinking career? Yep. And never get to touch another beer, or anything. Only drink Kettle One. So or I, never drink Kettle One again and be able to drink anything else you ever want. Oof. Uh, I think I would have to go. I am a creature. Like, I love options. Yeah. So I think I would, I would say, you know what? I'll Done. Buy Kettle yeah, One. You're not that say. special. Oh, okay. You're special, you know, to All me. Right, you got of, excited about it. I didn't know if it was like a... No, I love it. The, but, the rest but, of the world is the way thing. more exciting. If had I turned around and you poured Tito's... I would have never known. Because Tito's, I like Tito's, Tito's, is Tito's, Tito's is great. Tito's is great. Well, I thought the same thing about Miller Lite a month ago. <laughs> yeah. I've gone, oh, and I've been drinking Miller Lite Coors Light ever since because I didn't really give a shit. It's the same. same. Yeah, it's all the same. <laughs> Gary's asking if we have any watermelon pucker for tomorrow. We do. Right, yeah, we it's do. number 76. Yeah, don't, don't, say, <laughs> Just don't say that number. And then uh, what is this drink called? Honestly, uh, we tried making a uh, tried like kind of a. Bowl. But it's like it, a strawberry yeah. mule with it's cranberry. A, it's, a, it's a, a strandberry 
Strawberry, straw, strawberry cran, mule. Cran, um, straw cran. Yeah, it's kind of, it's got a little bit of a Cape Codder thing going on. No. You put cranberry juice in it. It's, it's no coffee Cape Codder though, Gary. No coffee Cape Codder. <laughs> coffee Cape Codder. Um, would nice. you rather drink a coffee Cape Codder or, uh, <laughs> or go bungee jumping tomorrow? Uh, for me, that's no question. <laughs> coffee Cape Codder. Really? Yeah, I, I tried bungee jumping once <laughs> it was scary. on the beach in uh, Fort Myers, Florida, and uh, it was not, it not, doesn't fit my, um, that's my, not you. It's not for you. Not, I, I, I'm okay with taking risks, but the one, the, the, you know, but when I got up there, it really felt like a, like a carnival ride. Like, the, I'm like, this could go bad. Like, how, like the, the, how the guy, the guy who strapped me in, how much meth did he do today? <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, no, I do a coffee cape cotter any day over a bunch of Interesting. Jumping. Interesting. <laughs> Um, I, you know, I used to have like, uh, so the reason we keep asking what you're rather is, is I literally do this all the time to them. We do it all the time. There's this, uh, show that I, I, I watch on YouTube and yep. uh, every single week they have a new celebrity that they ask would you rather? questions to, would you rather do this? Would you rather do that? Yep. And it's like super, <laughs> you can super search interesting. Search it up if you can, if you know. Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> um, yeah, we play this a lot. Yeah. So I figured we could bring that here to, to, to what we're doing. Let's do here. it. So I need a number again, guys. One through. I'm gonna pick this time. Give me a number between one and thirty-three. Sixty-six. <laughs> Just kidding. Sixteen. Sixteen. 60. Here we go. Ah, oh, see, no, that's boring. You can't do this one, man. That's a boring one. I gotta find the better one. I mean, it said, you know, would you? What was the question? Would you rather go to a movie or to dinner alone? Actually, maybe that's a good question. I would go to dinner I, alone. I'd never go to a movie alone. I've done both. I uh, equally, I, honestly. I, I'm a movie fanatic. So yeah. movie I, alone I, all day I long. Lived, when when I was younger, I used to go and like spend the day in the movies. Yeah, really. Like I'd go alone. In the morning no problem. By myself, I'd go in the first movie. I'd walk out and look. What's the next I one? Too. I'd walk right into the and go in. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, and you know, I've traveled a lot by myself uh, yeah. for business and so whatnot. Mo- so I've eaten alone. alone movie would be a thing. But movie, no problem. No up. problem. Yeah. I like. I am weird. I am. Uh, so I equate like drinking with being a, as a social activity. So mm-hmm. I like to do that with people. Like I, I could never do it alone. So going to a bar alone is always difficult. Uh, dinner alone is one of those things. Like I, I feel like I, you know, I do yeah. that all the time in the car because I'm go go go. i always. Found, I do it all the time. I've always found in bars if you're by yourself, and this is just a guy who's been in a lot of bars. Uh, opinion: If you're in a bar by yourself. Find the service. Sit right next to the service right station. Right next to the service station. So wherever the servers are meeting, yep. you go sit there because you're bound to start a conversation with either the manager comes over, might say hello. One of the servers you might be able to make a connection with. Yeah. The bartenders tend to spend a lot of time in that our, one our spot. Our seat, seat so one. one. That, so one. wants to sit there. Yep. If you're especially if you're in sales and you're trying to sell something to restaurants, go sit there and make a relationship with somebody before yep. you. They're all so there. Give me a number between one and twenty. I, I got a better list now. Uh, 19. Would you rather have a secret switch that would make your brothers and sisters quiet or have a secret switch that could make your mom and dad quiet? Brothers. Brothers. <laughs> Click, I have one right now. Yeah. I can just turn that thing off and we don't have to hear him ever. Brothers. <laughs> yeah, probably. Hmm. My, 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 my parents are per- My father's quiet enough. And yeah, they're already quiet. My mother always has nice things to say. Yeah, so. my dad's in Arizona right now. So <laughs> right. I, I, I don't... I, barely get to see him as it is so yeah. i would yeah my nino said Ash, i don't need to they've already told me enough i'll talk to my father i'll learn something from them at least yeah. um from him i mean yeah um give me another number one through 20 15 all right would you rather see colors that no one else could see or smell smells that no one else could smell smell smells colors uh, colors all day because the smells that you could smell could be you don't I don't know if they're good or bad. I know, but like, I just, for me, the food experience is about smells. Colors, eh. But what if you were like, you know, picking up on stuff that I, was. I, I might not be good. And all day you'd be but like, I want it. What does that smell? I love that. No. Like, I don't smell it. I do that. I do that now. Yeah, you do I, do I that. I want more smell. Okay. Not right, more. Give me, give me one more. Okay. Pick a number. Uh, two. Would you rather have to use your weak hand to eat or to write? 
Eat oh, well, for eat, me. Eat. Definitely eat. Yeah, so you would eat. eat with your left hand? Yeah. Because the writing with your left, you couldn't do it or whatever. Well, the thing well, for me is I can't write with either. If you, <laughs> if you see my right hand, it looks the same as my left. Like, I might as well. I write with both. That's, I can write with both. That's why I type everything. I do. I, 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 so, yeah, easily eat. eat. Let's All do right. one more. I mean, kids, right, more, kids more. don't write anymore, right? Kids yeah. are typing only, which is brilliant. Give, give me the one more. Another number. Uh, six. Would you rather eat wet cat food <laughs> or dog treats after breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Wet dog cat treats. Food. Are there wet dog treats or dry no, dog treats? Do wet cat yeah. food once yeah. or dog treats three times. Wet cat food. The tuna one in Is particular. it every day or one I don't know. time? Just I, like, no idea. So for okay. one day, you're going to take 24 hours, and I'm going to say to you, at some point, you have to eat this wet cat food. I could never do it. Or cat food. after you eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you're going to have never, one dog food. I could never, ever, ever do it. Never. The Either dog. one? The, no, the wet. The, do, the dog food is just, it tastes See, like wheat. I'm just the opposite. Yeah, you know, I, I, yeah I'd probably do the I'm cat food. I'm not I would saying do the I've cat done food. it. Uh, okay, I, I'm I've telling you. It. I would do the cat food. <laughs> See if there's anybody saying anything. I do um, cat food all day long. Salmon, tuna, whatever. I open them and literally I'm I wreck. doing the cat food. Yeah, but I, like I, it's, I'm, a, it's a not I'm, a fun. You get worms from the dog food. So from we got dog biscuit. You get worms from it. Yeah. No, I'm telling you. Nowadays they're, they're all natural. And well, stuff. no one gets worms from anything anymore. But we got we got people saying neither dog treats all day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nasty, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm not trusting his palate when he talks about the food so much. Bye, Chili. Bye, Another Chili. Thank you. Chili's been doing a great job for us over there. <laughs> so these are just fun games that it's I so like to fun. always play. And let's uh, let's just take one more second to talk about the new items on the dish. Absolutely. All right. So do items on the menu. For let's start with the beer. We have two new beers. Okay. Burlington Beer Company. I said Burlington, not Brooklyn. Right. Burlington Beer Company. Petal yeah. Prophecy. Uh, it's an IPA, six percent IPA. Great. Um, it's sweet. It's great. That one sells for, I believe, thirty dollars for the growler. Okay. And the Linguini Rus uh, in the the Equilibrium MC squared. Yep. That one sells for forty dollars. That is yep. a ultra rare um, brewery that we get here every once, every maybe twice a year. Yep. If we're lucky. So I have that on, um, and we're selling that one for forty. Super great. That's the one we tried today. And that's, that's a sixty-four awesome. ounce growler. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So that's ounces. yeah, it's a gallon. That's, that's a, ten ten ounce pours here at Reunion. You probably get a ten ounce pour. Yeah. For maybe nine, so you're getting sixty-four ounces for forty. It's a great deal. Yeah. Plus, you get to keep the glass. Keep the glass. So you keep that it jug at nice home vase. and do your thing. Or if you're going to start a band and you want to do like jug your, band, I'm not going to blow in it. But if you want to do like at home, you want to do like if you maybe don't play an instrument, but you're <laughs> all these people at home are making their music videos. You could be at home and you could make your jug exactly. band. You could do so much of it. Yeah. It, so to go back on on uh, on the dog biscuit thing, my good friend <laughs> Samaria from Arizona, she's representing, watching us here. Uh, she says dog biscuits. So yep. I don't know anyone. I haven't heard I anyone might, or yeah. seen anyone say cat food. So now I know what we're doing I, tomorrow. I kind of like pate. Yeah. What did Meredith no. say? Great jugs. <laughs> We're doing the cat food and dog biscuit <laughs> challenge. All right. Okay, so for food, food, we've got the new soup. We've got the 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 black. Uh, I'm sorry, black bean chili. The beef, the beef and black, black bean, bean chili. chili. Yep. And which you can get in a cup, or you can also get as an entree size. Entree. Yep. And uh, we also have the broccoli, the broccoli cauliflower, cauliflower, cauliflower cheddar, cheddar soup. Cheddar soup. Yep. yep. It's great. Which is and great. Then, and then great. linguine and then rustica. The linguine rustica, which we tried today. Again, you get linguine. Generous portion of shrimp, tomato, yep. mushroom, garlic, white wine sauce. Yeah, it's great. The thing is, it's light, it's delicious, with scallions on top for a garnish. Mm -hmm. And um, and of course, let's not forget, lobster roll is back on full time. Lobster Today roll. we had to um, 86 it because we, we sold, sold through it yesterday. We sold so it many was, yesterday. Uh, we, I oh. never sold that many lobster rolls in one day. I don't yeah, think. That, I completely agree. It was and amazing. Then turkey, and then Thanksgiving, turkey sub. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving dinner, turkey, turkey, uh, turkey sub. Yep. Uh, sandwich, that's awesome as well. Yep, we sold a lot of those awesome. too. So, um, yeah, so that's what we got, guys. If you uh, go to reuniontap.com to order, you can always mm -hmm. order online. Go to Untap, subscribe to our Untap page, and, uh, and, and follow us on YouTube. Follow us, us on, YouTube on YouTube now, yeah. Like and subscribe on YouTube. And uh, basically, if you already watched this, we're really just putting up videos there. Yeah. And then every once in a while, we'll put up a bonus video on YouTube to switch it up. So. Great. Right. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank Have a great guys. night. How'd you pick Kettle One?